I'm Corinne. I'm Thomas. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome to the Chill Spot. I'm Corinne. And this is Drake. <laughs> I'm always like, how is she going to say it today? What's she going to call me today? <laughs> I like this um, topic we're talking about today, except I don't like it because I don't like waking up in the morning. I don't think a lot of people like waking up in the morning, but we have some good tips on mm -hmm. how not to feel tired. We have 12, and then I have a 13th one that we never talked about. It's a surprise. Yay. <laughs> so you always want to go to bed early. At uh, my age, you need to go two hours early. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, 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 wait. What time do you go to bed? Um, I like to be in bed by seven. And what time do you get up? Three, I hope. Um, normally four. about 3.30, 4 o'clock okay, okay. in the morning. That's about eight hours. I like to go to bed about... Not seven. <laughs> <laughs> about seven is actually in the evening when I, after work, do yoga, read a little, then I allow myself to watch TV at seven. I'm just now allowing myself to watch TV at that point. So, <clears throat> but you realize nine that or I'm ten, over twenty years older than you. That's what you guys think. I just told you I was twenty seven. Hmm. That doesn't mean I'm twenty seven. No. Please no. don't tell me you're younger. I don't. I don't want to go thirty years older. No, than I'm, you. I'm 27. <laughs> um, so go to bed earlier. Mm -hmm. This next one is big, and if you have an iPhone, which you all should, here I go promoting iPhones. <laughs> um, wake up time. Keep your wake up time the same. And there's a program called Bedtime on iPhones, and it'll remind you it's your bedtime, and your alarm will go off at the same time every day. Huh. So I don't use it, <laughs> but it's on there <laughs> just in case you were wondering. Also, off topic, I started listening to podcasts more on my phone last night. I never have. I've always listened to them online. The podcast, just icon, has about every TED Talk you could ever imagine for free. Another perk of iPhones, <laughs> just saying. <laughs> um, okay, I'll let you read the next one. Okay. Let me just take a the little step. <laughs> The next one is try to outline um, your tasks for the night before. You know, if you know you're going to have a busy day oh, yeah. and it's going to be kind of hectic, just kind of jot it down and so you'll know what's going to go on that day in case of surprise. Planning. What to planning. Yeah, a big, I'm a big planner. Um, try to do five minutes of stretching in the morning. Try or do. Um, in my case, I'm going to say try. <laughs> so I, I think I agree with this one. Um, stretch in the morning. I don't, this five minutes, that's just the minimum. I think they're saying I started doing yoga recently over the last like month, month and a half. And I find it difficult to full out do yoga <laughs> right when I wake up. But most mornings I do for about 15 minutes mm -hmm. and it, it helps. I will tell you, there has been some mornings I just push. I'm like, I'm going to do this 30 minutes. And then whew, I'm so tired. But my body's tired. My mind just feels so re-energized. So I agree. Stretch in the morning. Stretch in the morning. I think if I try to You're like, no. Yoga, no. I, I do stretch, but sometimes, I mean, it hurts. Well, to stretch. it hurts so good, right? <laughs> so I think whoever comes up with the, I mean, it must be like that Julian that's on um, I cannot think of her last name. Michaels. Yep. She must have put this together because if I tried to do yoga like you, I look like one of those deform. I probably don't Annie look the greatest, but you'll never involved. you'll never get better at it if you don't do it. That, that's and true. the reason I started doing yoga is because eventually I would love to go to India and mm -hmm. practice yoga there. Mm -hmm. But I feel like I need to be a lot better a before lot better. I go there. So that's why I've kind of yeah. practiced up. Another thing you can do. Uh, Put your phone down. <laughs> Put it no down. No more TED Talks. <laughs> no more TED Talks. Um, I've actually heard the frequencies in and out of your phone interfere with your sleeping. I ain't one to put my phone into a different room when I sleep. But if you can, put your phone in a different room. I definitely don't recommend you sleeping with your phone next to your pillow. 
get your phone out of there. Yeah. Read before you go to bed. Mm -hmm. Now, I do like to read before I go to it bed. It just makes me fall asleep. Yeah, it does. And then, um, oh, that was the next one, read before yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And then um, drink a lot of water, but <laughs> I do not recommend this. Again, I'm showing my age because you will be up all night. I take water to bed with me, so drink a lot of water. <laughs> <laughs> Eat dinner early. I've always heard don't eat anything up to two hours before you're going to go to bed. That's kind of like don't eat like a half an hour before you go swimming. Yeah, that's Something crap. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> try to... Meditate. Yeah. I was trying to think how to pronounce that word. <laughs> I, I, you know what I thought you were going to say? Medicate before you go to bed. I, was, I knew you were going to read it like that. So I had to meditate. And big thing about meditation, again, people see meditation or they see yoga and they're like, there's just a, just this one, one, one mm -hmm. way to meditate, one way to do yoga. Not true. I was at AmeriCare's caregiver conference and Mary Tellis Nyack did a mm -hmm. guided meditation with the audience. It really? was amazing. You... Podcast on iPhones have podcast channels that are guided meditation. YouTube has guided meditation. I've been meditating since I was about 18, oh gosh, nine years. <laughs> and I started with guided meditation. That's all I could do. But now I just meditate on my own. Meditate before bed. It does put you in a better mind space and it's going to help you sleep better. I have to tell you, I... Um... I never had the guided mm -hmm. meditation, but doing some of my treatments when they would be doing the IVs, I would close my eyes and just think that I was somewhere else. Yeah, and it, yeah. And it, I was very, very surprised that it did calm me down. My heart rate lowered, mm -hmm. and it was just like I never really reached the beach before she stuck the needle in, but I was almost there. <laughs> you should have ran faster. <laughs> I was almost there. So I agree. That does That does help. And then uh, skip the alcohol. Yep. It's a depressant. Yeah. And then the next one is try taking melatonin. Melatonin. Med med yes. Melatonin. And I have took that before, and it actually works. Um, For me, it does. I don't know if I've does. taken it, but a lot of people say it works. Um, sleepy time tea. I think I can support melatonin because it's natural. <laughs> but, yeah, sleepy time tea. Lavender. Essential oils. Yeah. That's my route. Mm -hmm. They uh, have lavender um, out in the baby lotion yes. now. Yep, they sure do. Yeah. Johnson Johnson baby mm -hmm. lotion. We'll lavender. have to get some. Maybe that'll be our giveaway. <laughs> A bottle. Never know. No, unless you're giving it away to me. <laughs> <laughs> nope. <laughs> but there's so many different chamomile, lavender, mm -hmm. um, lavender and cedar wood. Two very good essential oils to mm -hmm. go on your diffuser if you're trying to sleep. <clears throat> If you ever have questions about those, holler at me. Holler at you. <laughs> and of course, try the exercise oh, regimen, you know, if possible. But to me, it, if I could just do a couple stretches, forget that exercise because it's right there. Well, stretching is exercising. Well, yeah. Yeah. I, just, I can't do that. That's both. the thing. Another One thing. That's like yoga, meditation, exercising. People mm -hmm. are like, oh, no. Mm -hmm. Exercising is a lot of things. Yeah. It does not mean yeah. going to jump on an elliptical. and. Yeah. Stair climber. Have you ever tried um, the sounds, the little sound machine? I'm not for sure what to call it, but it White has, noise like machine. The, has the ocean mm -hmm. and the wind. I personally have never had one. I've had a tenant in one of my buildings that had one, and it sounded just like a fan, actually, mm -hmm. which I would love to have because I have to sleep with the fan on. I do, however, have an app that is the noise of a fan. So the if I travel without it. one, but then I just defeat the purpose of not <laughs> using my phone. Not but... Doing I have not had any like white noise machine of any sort, but there are a lot of different uh, YouTube channels and such like that that you can just click that hour long it. thing, hours long of those noises, rain, um, ocean, anything you want. Yeah. It's, it's a, there's a name for them, but sounds. I'm not for sure what like sound edit. machine or yeah. something. White I'm noise not, machine. Not sure. White noise makes me think of something scary. Yeah. And this can also go back to, um, you know, the residents in the center. Try to keep them on a 
um, schedule as much as you can. Their preferred schedule, not yours. Yes, exactly. You know, if they're used to getting up at a certain time and make sure that you do try to, to do that. You know, every day try to keep them. And like Drake said, it is their schedule and not not your schedule. And I think my last tip for waking up happy, go to bed happy. Mm -hmm. um, that was a big thing when I started journaling, that positive journaling. And you know, I cannot recall. I want to say that maybe it was at a NACA conference that someone talked about it. But journal, at the, the last thing you should do is Think about or write down three positive things that you did in the day. And if you go to bed with a positive mindset, there's such a higher chance you will wake up in that same mindset. So that's number 13. <laughs> go to bed happy and you'll wake up happier. I like that. Yeah. I like that a lot. Because if you go to bed all stressed out, you're going to wake that's up That's what you stressed. wake up thinking about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've done personal experiments on myself and it's true. <laughs> that's true. That's a lot of good... <coughs> um, good Excuse advice me. so we hope that this um, answers any questions about not feeling tired and what you could do to you know to stay happy and and uh, remember um, to watch CNA TV and you matter